My name is Steve Bryant, and I am a session bass player here in Nashville, a career musician, in fact. And I was born and raised in Ironton, Ohio. Started out playing equal parts bluegrass and equal parts R&B, hard rock, so I've been involved in a lot of multiple styles. I started playing music at 17, and it was just something that just turned me on. I had no idea. In fact, I wasn't very encouraged at that by, by people around me, but it was something I was, I'm a stubborn person, so it was something that grabbed a hold of me. And uh, when people started paying me money, I said, wow, this would be pretty cool to do this thing. So I'm very fortunate to be in the business of music and do something I love to do. Uh, I've played so many different styles of music. There's, uh, that's why I love doing sessions. You kind of, you're hitting it on that first time and you don't think too much, but your instincts sort of take over. And uh, that with uh, responding to whatever the style is of that year or whatever, you can still find your own way to express yourself. So even though I'm a session guy, and uh, yeah, I've got to play that four minor chord on the second bar, that sort of thing, I still also view myself in a way as an artist too, because uh, after all, if they don't hear any emotion in the music, what good is it? From the very first session I used it on, you know, engineers were saying, golly, that just sounds great. There was a great clarity that still kept the personality of my sound. As I said, and not to get too technical, I'll use a, uh, I've, I've learned a lot from the great uh, session musician, Carol Kay. She uh, influenced me a lot to use flat wound strings. So I've got a, a P bass, nothing fancy, just a stock P bass uh, reissue made in 92, 57 reissue. And uh, the Tomastic strings flat wounds on there, they're jazz flats, are probably about eight years old and played with a hard pick or fingers. And uh, just run that thing flat through this. I mean, no EQ, no compression. And it's, it's, it's really amazing. Engineers will talk about that. In the manual, it said something like, you listen and not watch the graphs and all that. And I'm definitely of that opinion. And it was hard to get anything unmusical out there. I mean, no matter what I did, I've gotten very bold with it, just turning some knobs. It's just the sound that, that uh, I like about it. Now, we just did, by the way, a, a, a shootout. Some people call it a shootout or comparing preamps. And uh, I've got to say my first impression, besides not really knowing what all the switches do right now, but I'll get familiar with that. It's an incredibly harmonic piece. I was, uh, and I'm sure with a, with, along with this interview, you'll be hearing some of my playing on it. And you can hear how rich harmonically it is. I, I was immediately attracted to it. It's always good, you know you got a good piece of gear when you just plug it in and you get a good sound. And I learned that the hard way. People would say, you need to get this kind of gear or whatever. And man, it'd just be so confusing. You had to work really hard. In the real world that I live in, baby, it's plug it in, count it off. And uh, uh, we just started out and played with this unit flat and it sounded great right away. So here are some files, some sound files of me playing through these fine pieces. And uh, enjoy, it's, uh, we're kind of uh, improvising here, but it's a lot of fun. Thanks.